What's up, Jules? <laughs> How's it going? Uh, so we got big bi-week vibes right now. Um, we've been showing you guys the behind the scenes of the Redwoods for the past couple weeks. And uh, obviously bye week so we're gonna show you what a lot of you guys have been asking for, which is the gear bag. Yep. Um, so I'm excited to show you guys a little bit of that, mm -hmm. what we got going in there, and then we're gonna answer some questions also, which I put on Instagram the other day. All right, so I have, this is my like sort of travel bag I have here, not necessarily my gear bag. This is our gear bag that we use for PLL now. So obviously we have Redwoods on here, um, Champion. So this is great. It, has everything pretty much you can fit in here. I travel with this one too, so there's some other stuff that I have in there that you wouldn't really regularly see in here. So I wanna show you guys that real quick. So first off, let's start with um, heads. So I have a bunch of heads in here, um, sort of my backups. Uh, anyone on my team knows, especially during training camp, I'm trying to figure out everything with these heads and, and what works for me. So this is um, all Epic Z1s. You guys can see here, um, you have the Z1 on the bottom down there. Um, sponsored by Epic, so I use their stuff. And I have a bunch of different patterns for these pockets that I was trying to figure out. So between these three, um, this one you can see here is still a little bit unstrung. Um, between those three and then this one, I'll show you guys in a bit is my gamer. I kind of figured it out, which is exciting. So I always love figuring out my stick. Um, got cleats. So last week's game, I wore these ones. These are like the lime green uh, Addy Zero cleats. You guys can check check these out. Pretty sweet, big fan of these. And then I got, so these are my custom ones, uh, Dog Pound Denim. A girl out here in San Diego hooked me up with these, so I can peep the detail on here. The redwood theme, green, um, and kind of the bark on the tree. So those two have been my gamer cleats as of late. And then we have arm guards. So again, uh, epic arm guards. We got the custom redwood logo right there, uh, the bear, which is pretty sweet. So I have those. And then gloves. Um, I have two pairs of gloves. So these are one pair I've been using. I use these a lot for training camp. And then, these are the custom ones that I've been wearing, again, by Dog Pound Denim. You guys have seen these, these are awesome. One of my favorite pairs of things I've ever had. Again, you can see a little bit of bear right there and that redwood bark to really match the cleats. So we got the gloves there. I got the Essentia water. I'm a big Essentia water guy, my favorite. Maybe they'll sponsor me one day. Custom PLL, so these are uh, pretty cool actually. PLL Gatorade water bottles. We got our name on top there and the bear. We got to travel with these every single week, so Obviously COVID protocols, you don't want anyone, you know, really mixing too much water. So everyone has their own individual water bottle. I know PLL is gonna start selling them, those two I saw. This is, this is major right here, all right? <laughs> so this is my vitamin kit. And so anyone that, that knows me personally knows that I love my vitamins and I take them very seriously. Actually, I'll put these two things on the side here. You can get a quick preview in there. I got some multivitamin oil of oregano. Um, this is a probiotic um, and some other things in there. So I have a vitamin kit and this is actually custom. So I got my name right there. Wow. This is pretty cool, I got that for my birthday. And then I have my Cantu coconut curling cream for the hair. So this is also <laughs> major, especially in the summertime. So I need to put that in after I'm done showering. And then sunblock every single day. This is Sunbum 50 broad spectrum SPF. You have to wear that every day too. Um, okay, what else do I have? So I don't have my helmet in here, uh, but for shits and giggles, let me go grab the All-Star helmet. This is my first All-Star game of my career. 2019, obviously I didn't play last season. We didn't have an all-star game last year either, but hopefully I would have been able to make it last year. Hopefully I can I can make it again this year. Um, this is 2019 all-star and one of my favorite things. So really cool. Uh, obviously that the, the tie-dye. Um, yeah, so this was an S and now we're using the XRS helmet. So again, I don't have one of those with me. You leave those in the locker room and they kind of um, travel those for you. So it just makes it a little bit easier to fit everything into that one bag. So jump rope. I travel with this too, just in case I, I need it um, to kind of just get my feet going a little bit, but big on the jump rope. So if you guys, especially younger guys and, and younger girls, just trying to get your feet better, jump roping is, is major key. Penny, custom PLL Redwoods Penny, uh, reversible Adidas. So we got the bear there. These are great too. I, I saw they were doing customizable um, pennies in the PLL shop too, which is great. And then also obviously the vlog camera. This is what makes the magic happen. Um, the Redwoods locker room, PLL Redwoods. Um, but yeah, so I've been using this to help film the vlogs and it's been a lot of fun so far. I think people are enjoying it. I'm having a blast. The guys are having a blast. So we're gonna continue to do it and you know, see what happens. All right, oh, gamer. Okay, so gamer, let's start top to bottom or bottom to top. So someone was talking smack to me about my pride tape, not because of the pride tape itself, but because I didn't do all the tape down the thing. I'm not a big tape guy, but it's pride month. So I was trying to represent, shout out to 
the LGBTQ plus community. I have my pride tape on here and I usually just tape a little bit on the bottom. So got that. My custom epic dragonfly shaft. So we got um, my name on there, which is pretty cool. You know, when you're growing up as a player, you never would think that you can get your name on a shaft. I think that's awesome. Um, but yeah, we have our custom logo there, Redwoods. And yeah, so I'm big on the dragonfly. And then obviously Z1. So I have this black Z1 head here, and this is East Coast Eyes Hero Mesh. So I'm a big fan of this mesh, just the way that the ball is able to really stick into the pocket a little bit. I do banana pocket, not too much grab, so the ball can fling out. And then also I want it to, to hook there a little bit um, when I'm gonna go wind up and shoot. So again, fling out on the passes, but hook there when I'm gonna go shoot. And that is my gamer. Uh, that's everything I have to show you guys for the gear bag. Now, I know I asked on Instagram the other day, questions so i'm gonna go through some of those my favorite ones and i'll answer those for you guys who is the biggest jokester in the locker room this comes from jimmer underscore 94. <laughs> okay biggest jokester in the locker room i guess he's retired now right um r.i.p nick Osello. <laughs> but he is the biggest jokester no doubt uh, about that so i still consider him to be a redwood so i'm gonna stick with nick Osello. and he just approved the vlog today um yeah that was a huge cosign and i was you know, really happy about that. Uh, this one comes from L Hilton 33. What's the biggest difference between the college level and the pro level? Biggest difference between the college level and the pro level is outside of the talent, right? So when you're in college, everyone is obviously really good out of high school and all American. But when you get to pro level, everyone is really, you know, a first, second team all American, first team all conference player. So that moves up a notch too, but you don't have as much time to really gel as a team. So it's important for you to you know, really invest time outside of you know just the weekends to get to know your teammates and really build chemistry and then you got to maintain you know that physical compete level um you know your stick and all those things outside of just the weekend too by yourself so it's a really personal responsibility on you as a player um so you, you really see guys that are you know able to not only be in a system in college, but then also take those things and, and do them on their own, excel at the pro level. This one comes from Emma Adams. Uh, what is the dynamic on the offense? Who is the vocal leader? The dynamic on the offense, a little bit different this year. Uh, we got a couple new pieces, we're trying to figure it out, but you know, Rob Pinnell kind of sits back there. He's our, our quarterback from, from the attack position. So, you know, brings that kind of settling presence. You know, everyone, every team needs that, um, on, you know, same as in the football. You need your quarterback to kind of lead the offense. And then, you know, we have a bunch of different leaders on the team. You know, Cav and uh, Kyle are our two offensive captain leaders. Um, you know, I think Miles also, you know, is a big leader on our team. I think personally, I'm trying to, you know, step into a role there too and, and, and do what I can to be a leader. So I think there's a bunch of different moving parts, um, but I'm excited to kind of see your offense continue to develop. Uh, this one comes from me, Katie DeFeo. Who is your favorite college lacrosse player? Favorite college lacrosse player is Charlotte North. Why is Charlotte North my favorite player? Outside of her, you know, dynamic playing ability, and I'll talk a little bit about that. I think the ability to be in the national spotlight like she has been, and then really go through the whole season and excel and then win the championship, I think just really speaks to, you know, her character and her ability to execute at the highest level. When you watch her play, I just think what she's doing on the women's side is unbelievable. I, I really do think that she's changing the game uh, right before our eyes and that there's gonna be a you know, a whole new wave of, of girls that are, are trying to play like her and trying to figure it out. When you watch her and you watch her highlights, like you get fired up. So it's pretty cool. Um, I'm excited that she's coming back next year um, and we'll continue to, you know, move the, the needle on the woman's side. Campbell Donovan, 77. What's with the ankle socks, Jules? Campbell, you know, um, gotta let these puppies breathe, all right? I've been working on the calves a little bit. Not actually, but I, you know, people seem to be commenting on the calf game. I love to feel just the breeze on the, on the legs, baby. <laughs> I let the suckers breathe, all right? So I'm enjoying it. And I've been doing it for a while now. I just, you know, last year, I'm not big on the um, socks being th too thick. So I like my th socks to be a little bit thinner. So just the shorter ones are good for me. It comes from C.Daniels91. What's your favorite Redwoods jersey? Oh, the whites. The, I think those are cleanest in the league, no doubt. Yeah. Uh, this comes from Emma Adams again. Give us the perspective of being a non-Notre Dame guy on a big Notre Dame team. Being a non-Notre Dame guy on a big Notre Dame team. So I am was one of the few Rutgers players in the league uh, up until last year, this year. Now we have seven. I think that actually competes with a lot of the Blue Blood programs. You guys could be a team. They could have made a Rutgers team. In, in the PLL. So I'm very proud about that. Uh, I think that, you know, Rutgers is a unique school. We have a certain kind of person goes there, a certain kind of attitude. I think the Notre Dame guys also have a certain kind of attitude the way they play um, and expectations for showing up every game to compete at a high level and, and really, you know, 
um, just making sure that you're ready to go at the end of the day. You have to get to know people at the end of the day. So just building relationships with those guys. Some of them are my best friends now. And yeah, it's been exciting and I'm, I'm pumped to continue to develop that chemistry with the guys. Hey guys, so I appreciate you tuning in this week. Uh, obviously a bye week um, checked out the gear bag, some of the stuff we had going on there, answered a bunch of your guys' questions. Um, I just want to say I really appreciate all the support so far. It's been a lot of fun. You know, we didn't really know what was going to happen when we started this. Just wanted to give a behind the scenes look, you know, from the player's perspective um, for the season and, and the Redwoods. And, you know, obviously we're looking to go one of those every single week and win a championship. And we want you guys to just be able to be a part of that and, you know, know everyone that's involved in that. So um, really help out if you guys could like the video, subscribe. Um, continue to support you know it helps us in a lot of different ways and you know continue to let us know what you want to see um, we're trying to do our best to get everyone involved i know last week guys were asking for rider more um glaze someone said they wanted to see me shoot on timmy and light timmy up i'm, I'm fucking back timmy he knows that um but yeah continue to like i said like and subscribe and then let us know what you guys want to see and we will see you guys next week in baltimore